simply learn. Your pace, your place. Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel 2013 MOS Intermediate Course offered by Simply Learn. This introductory lesson will give a brief overview of the MOS Intermediate Certification and its objectives. Microsoft introduced a number of new features in Excel 2013. These include new combo charts, filters in charts, chart animations with slicer, new recommended charts, new recommended pivot tables, extending pivot table relationship with power pivot, etc. Let's begin by looking into the table of contents in the next slide. We will start with the course objectives. These describe what you will be able to do by the end of the course. Next, Microsoft Excel 2013 MOS Intermediate Course Overview will be discussed, which also includes course prerequisites and gives you a strategic understanding of the course. Next, the value of Excel 2013 to the professionals as well as to the organizations is discussed in detail and the lessons covered in this course are listed. Exam pattern, including the type of questions that appear in the exam, is covered next. Lastly, to help gain advanced knowledge in Excel 2013, other sources of information are also listed. Let us begin with the course objectives in the subsequent slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to manage and share workbooks in Excel 2013, apply custom formats and layouts, create advanced formulas, create advanced charts in Excel 2013, create and manage pivot tables in Excel 2013. Let us take a look at the course overview in the following slide. This course will provide a comprehensive and detailed introduction to manage workbook changes with multiple users in shared mode. The course will introduce applying customized formats and layouts. The course will also cover the information about creating advanced formulas and functions, creating advanced chart elements and managing pivot tables. Demos are provided to show how to work with advanced features of Excel application and get hands-on experience in Excel 2013. The target audience of the course is anyone who is interested in learning advanced Excel 2013. Basic knowledge of Excel 2013 is required for taking this course. In the next slide, we will discuss how professionals benefit from using advanced Excel options. Professionals can benefit from Excel in different ways. In Excel 2013, professionals can use new functions to effectively work with data. They can create interactive charts with slices and new filter option in charts. In addition, they can create advanced pivot tables with the new timeline and slicer features and also work with different tables and pivot tables using the Power Pivot feature in Excel 2013. We will discuss next the value of Excel for organizations. Organizations have several benefits of working with Excel. Excel 2013 allows sharing workbooks and saving a lot of disk space and time. It also allows to create combo charts which help organizations in understanding their businesses better and taking decisions. In addition, Excel 2013 has advanced formulas and functions which helps in storage of data. The Excel application also comes equipped with different quick analysis tools such as pivot tables, charts and new power pivot, which helps in analyzing and managing risks and ensuring that there is no financial impact. Let us now look into the lessons covered in the course. There are five lessons covered in this course. Take a look at the lesson names that are listed on the slide. Let us move on to the next slide to understand the exam pattern of MOS Excel 2013. MOS Excel 2013 certification exam is purely skill-based and measures the candidate's technical ability in Excel. 
In this exam, you have to complete scenarios in the provided workbooks. Additional information on the exam pattern is explained on the slide. In the following slide, let us look into MOS Excel 2013 Intermediate Certification Details. Microsoft Excel 2013 MOS Intermediate Certification proves that the certified professional can work with Excel 2013 application effectively and efficiently. This certification also proves the certified professional's skills in Excel 2013. The software component used in this certification exam is Microsoft Excel 2013 desktop application. The certification code for MOS Excel 2013 is 77-427. This is the latest version of the Excel 2013 certification. The duration of the exam will be 50 minutes and the total number of scenarios will be 4 to 6. The advanced features of Excel 2013 such as charts, formulas and pivot tables will be the focus area for this certification exam. No prerequisite certificates are required to take this exam. The book suggested and created by Microsoft to prepare for this certification test is MOS 2013 Study Guide for Microsoft Excel Expert Part 1 77-427 by Mark Dodge. Let us look into the sources of information in the next slide. Critical information can be found on Microsoft Exam. This provides required skills and preparation materials for this exam. You can explore Microsoft Office Tutorials link to get some practice with free Excel tutorials. Hello and welcome to Microsoft Excel 2013 MOS Intermediate course offered by Simply Learn. This is the first of five lessons in the Microsoft Excel 2013 MOS Intermediate course. Before we get started, let us look into the objectives of this lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to manage and share workbooks in Excel 2013, track changes and manage comments, identify and trace formula errors in Excel 2013. In the next slide, we will discuss how to share workbooks. In Excel 2013, you can easily share and collaborate workbooks using Microsoft SkyDrive. When you share a workbook, multiple users can work on the same file simultaneously. In the previous Excel versions, if you wanted to share a file with others, you would require to send the shareable workbook as an email attachment, which was difficult to organize. In Excel 2013, you can share workbooks by posting on social networks, mailing as attachments, sending files through instant messengers inviting people, and sharing workbook links. By sharing a workbook, you can easily collect comments, updates, changes, and suggestions from other users. You can also restrict changes to the worksheet structure and data by protecting with password. In the next slide, we will continue to talk about sharing workbooks. Once changes are done by users, Data can be merged into the original version from the copied one. You can remove the users from sharing a workbook or stop sharing a workbook once all the changes are made. When a workbook is in shared mode, it does not support all the features in Excel, such as worksheets cannot be deleted, worksheets or workbooks cannot be protected or unprotected, macros will not run, text to columns command will not work, Tables cannot be created, cells cannot be merged, and the merged cells cannot be split. Let us do a quick recap of the steps John performed. The Track Changes feature in Excel 2013 only works if the workbook is in shared mode. It is useful when several users edit the workbook simultaneously. It is also useful in inserting reviewers' comments if it needs to be merged 
for incorporating the changes. When changes are made in the shared workbook, you can view the change history directly on the worksheet or on a separate history worksheet. In either ways, you can instantly review the details of each change. For example, you can see who made the change, what type of change was made, when it was made, which cells were affected, and which data was added or deleted. Three ways to track changes in Excel 2013 are Highlight changes on screen. Excel 2013 outlines changed areas in a different color for each user and displays the basic details as a comment when you rest the cursor over each changed cell. Highlighting changes on screen is useful when a workbook does not have many changes or when you want to see what has changed at a time. History tracking. Excel can display a separate history worksheet that provides a printable list of change details on which you can filter the find changes of interest. The history worksheet is useful when a workbook has many changes or you want to review what occurred in a series of changes. Review changes. Excel can guide us through the changes in sequence so that you can decide whether you should accept or reject each change at a time. This method is useful when you are evaluating comments from other users. In the next slide, we will understand how to highlight changes and track comments. Once you turn on the Track Changes feature, you can highlight all the changes in two ways. One is highlight changes on screen. With this, the modified cells will be highlighted with a unique border and indicator. Highlight changes on screen helps when there are only few changes and the changes need to be seen at a point of time. This allows reviewers to see what has been changed and who has made the changes. Another is highlighting all the changes in a new worksheet called History. You have the options to highlight changes and comment by using When, Who and Where options. When. In this, by default, since I last saved, All, Not yet reviewed and Since date options are available. Since date option is for manual date selection. Who. By default, the options of everyone, everyone but me, and list of all the users are available. Where. Here you have the option of selecting range. Let us do a quick recap of the steps John performed. Track changes are useful for reviewers to know the changes made in the workbook. To save changes permanently, you need to accept change, accept all changes in document, let you accept all the changes in one go. You can also reject change or reject changes in document. The latter option lets you reject all the changes at once. Alternatively, you have the option to accept or reject the data of only some cells by using when, who and where options. When. Here the options that appear by default are not yet reviewed and since date. Who. Here by default options are everyone, everyone but me and list of the shared users. Where. Here by default the entire worksheet and option for selecting a range is done manually. Let us do a quick recap of the steps John performed. Many formula errors are simple mistakes. Excel 2013 quickly spots these types of errors and displays error message in a cell. Hash division forward slash zero exclamation mark. 
is displayed when the formula values are divided by zero. Hash name question mark is displayed when any invalid name is selected in formula arguments. Hash number is displayed when any invalid numeric value is found in a formula or function. Hash value is displayed when you are working with a mathematical formula and if the formula includes cells that contain different data types. Hash not applicable is displayed when a function or formula cannot find any value in the table. Hash reference is displayed when a formula reference cell or a cell range is deleted unexpectedly. Hash null exclamation mark is displayed when a formula includes a space between two ranges to indicate intersection and the ranges have no cell in common. In Excel 2013, you can use the trace command to identify the cell causing an error in formula. The formulas may contain precedence and serve as a dependent to other formulas. Precedence are cells or ranges that affect an active cell's value. Dependents are cells or ranges affected by the active cell. Trace precedence. What are the cells or range selected to work with the formula? Trace dependents. Select any cell or range, click on this option to check what are the formulas in this workbook accessing the selected values or range. Evaluate formula. By using this option, you can evaluate formula steps and identify the error portion. Let us do a quick recap of the steps John performed. Let us summarize what we have learned till now. In Excel 2013, workbooks can be shared to enable multiple users to work on the same file simultaneously. In the Excel 2013, workbooks can be shared by inviting people, sharing workbook links, posting on social networks, and mailing attachments. The Track Changes feature in Excel 2013 only works if the workbook is in shared mode. It is useful when several users edit the same workbook. Highlighting changes can be done in two ways. Highlighting changes on screen and highlighting all changes into a new worksheet. The trace command is used to identify the cell causing an error in a formula. In the next lesson, we will learn how to apply custom formats and layouts in the Excel 2013. Wish you all the best for the course. In the next lesson, we will discuss how to manage and share workbooks in Excel 2013.